Archaea here, and it's a very humid Saturday currently, and I figured I would get another sort of video uploaded, because you guys seemed to like the first vlog, and I'm still kind of experimenting on how I even want to do this. Um, so please have patience with me. I'm in a very, very, very busy and crazy time in my life, and I can't even tell you everything that's going on yet, but when I get there, we'll get there, and you'll know, and I'll, I'll let you know, and there'll be all sorts of crazy stuff going on. I'm very excited, very, very busy, and um, that's another reason why my uploads have been terrible. I actually have a lot of videos that I want to make, too, um, I just haven't really had the time or energy to. Uh, when I have the energy to, I don't have the time. When I have the time to, I don't have the energy. Um, <clears throat> I, uh, I ended up getting the, the vac- vacamacine. I'm all microchipped up and whatnot. I got my proof. I had a dreadful, 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 dreadful day and a half. Uh, and then the next day I woke up and I was like, mm, I feel pretty good today. So I've recorded some stuff over the last little bit. I, I kind of want to try to get into the habit of um, like recording things that happen in my life that I think might be even a slight bit interesting and in showing you guys or at least sharing it with you guys. So um, join me on my adventure of experimentation. I'm I <laughs> yeah. So, I guess I'll show you some of the stuff I've been up to recently that maybe, maybe you'll care about, maybe you won't, I don't know. Either way, um, let's get into the, the, the B-roll. So, most of the stuff that I've been doing recently has been outside, at least when it comes to things around the house. Um, we've got tons of plants that we're bringing out and they're finally getting to feel the breeze and the sun, not just through the greenhouse in my, in my tarantula room. Um, so it's, it's been a very exciting time. I often just like to sit here and watch the butterflies flitter through the tall grasses and occasionally pick the odd sorrel leaf or two and just nibble on them and whatnot. So we've got some peppers out here, we've got um, some tomatoes, we've got all sorts of herbs and whatnot. I'll show you a little bit more of that in a moment. Not a full garden tour, but I'll, I'll show you some stuff that we have. I'm very, very excited about it. So here we have uh, strawberries on the right. And we've got some chives on the left. Those chives have been alive for so long, it's crazy. They just keep coming back. I've got some sorrel on the other side of it, um, and like some arugula and whatnot, and some weeds I gotta pick. So, you know, I'll get to that. And then we've got our Italian parsley, um, which I'm loving. You can see in the back, I have some walking onions, and I have some emoji, and then of course, you know, it would not be my garden if I did not have basil. Eventually, I'm going to grow a lot more. Same with the rosemary in the back, because I absolutely love basil and rosemary. But I'm just sort of practicing my, my green thumb. And our apples are growing. <clears throat> oh, my throat. Gosh, of course, the second I go to do a voiceover, it's clogged. But the apples are doing quite well. Very happy. There's the pigu! Proof she's still alive. <laughs> Shell. <laughs> but yeah, I know she's doing quite well. You know, we let her out, she nibbles on stuff, and the weather's been beautiful for the most part, and she just kind of sleeps through the rain, and quite easy to care for her this summer. She's, she's become a lot more relaxed as she's getting older. She's about six, so she, uh, she's doing her thing, you know? She's very adorable, and we love our Pigu very much. Yeah, so she doesn't really like to go for walks anymore, so we just kind of let her out and graze. We used to take her for walks around the property and whatnot, but now she just kind of wants to stay and 
eat everything in sight, especially the thorny, thorny bristles. She absolutely adores eating thorny weeds. It's amazing. It's great because I hate them. They're very irritating to me. <laughs> So while I was out going for a little walk around the property that day, I I saw some cool bugs and some plants and stuff, so I figured I would just get a little bit of footage, you know? Figured maybe you guys might want to see some of the little things. I don't cut my grass, so we have lots and lots of diversity on our property, which is very, very, very nice. All sorts of different leaf hoppers and grass hoppers and spiders and whatnot, you know? we've. It's pretty cool. I'm, I'm a big fan. Sometimes we even find mantis, you know? Unfortunately, there's none in this video, but if I ever see one, I'll show you. I see a little ant here crawling around. There's... I'm pretty sure there was aphids on here. And they're tending to them. Either way, there was uh, just a little ant going about his day, and I thought that was nice, so I figured I'd just give it a little film. Oh, bye! <laughs> And then I found a spit bug on top of my arch nemesis, thorny plants. They always inflame my skin and it burns and it itches, but Cookie loves eating it, so that's good. But either way, I, mean, I think they look cool, I just, I just can't touch them. But it's always fun to see what you can find. Like that little grease, grease hopper? Grasshopper! Yes, English. <laughs> but see what I mean? Look at all the plant diversity. There's so much cool stuff. However, we do have to mourn the loss of our giant catalpa tree. Um, it was cut down, unfortunately. Um, but, you know, it happens. I, this whole lot is going to get leveled, so I just mi I'm going to miss it, though. It's a very nice tree. But besides that, everything else is really growing in. You can't even see the house because of all of the plants and the wildlife growing there. You can see the giant truck sort of trampled and trounced our, our little backyard there, but it's okay. But even though the catalpa tree got chopped down, uh, a young one survived. It's been a few years, so... Its child is living on through the legacy for another year before this one also gets chopped down, unfortunately. But that's life, I suppose, right? It's unfortunate. And then a me update, I guess. Well, I got vaccinated yesterday. And it totally threw me on my bed? I don't know. I don't even... It, it threw me... Okay, never mind. <laughs> it threw me the frick off. My arm aches and... I adjust. <laughs> I can't use my left arm for anything. I feel exhausted even after a full night's sleep. Feel kind of feverish. Very, very exhausted. My muscles ache. Um, my stomach's really upset. I've been struggling to eat. I feel all spacey in my head. She's just sitting on me. Also, I've just been like, just generally sore. A little nauseous, just, just not feeling good. So, I'm gonna try and rest up today. Try and get some liquid food in me or something. We'll hope that that helps. But yeah. Vaccine is not very fun. <clears throat> not very fun at all. 
But eventually, I recovered. And I am still alive. But in better news, the, um, the black raspberries are growing quite, quite well. I'm looking forward to going out and picking all of them and just eating them on the spot. They're very, very delicious. So that's one thing that I do hope I can root up and bring with me when I do move. Because I'll be very sad without them. And other exciting news is that my peyote are starting to do something. I've had them for like six years now and I'm not planning on eating them. They're, they're just my, my, my pets. But they're looking quite adorable and they're doing something after six years. It's very exciting to me. <laughs> so look at them in their glory. So if you're still watching to this point, uh, thank you, I guess. I mean, I guess it means that it was an all right enough-ish video. Um, like I said, I'm still experimenting with what I want to do and still trying to remember to, um, like, record stuff or do the things and the whatevers and the whatnots. I just, most of the stuff I'm doing right now is, like, personal stuff that I don't necessarily want out on the internet, so um, that's why there's not a whole lot going on, but either way, I just want to thank you for watching and hope that you'll continue with me on this crazy adventure that's called life, um, and we'll see where stuff goes from here. Yeah. So I guess if, if you haven't subscribed already, if you want to, by all means, you're more than welcome to. Um, if not, that's also cool. If you want to leave a thumbs up uh, and leave a comment letting me know, like, if there's things that you want to see from me, if there's things that you, um, are curious about and whatnot, then maybe I can try to find some time, um, to get that done. And, yeah, so, I, mm, thanks. Thank you very much for watching. I feel very off today. I'm very tired, so I apologize if I'm all, but I wanted to get it done. So, I mean, I figured I may as well show you me and all of my meanness, so I don't feel fake or whatever. I'm very bad at that, so. <laughs> so thank you for accepting me as I am in the states that I am when I am in them. But anyways, I won't take up more of your time. I've also got stuff I have to do today, and I'm probably actually going to film another video, so. I should probably do that. <laughs> but thank you very much for watching and catching up. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video or on Twitch or in the Discord. There's links and stuff below. There's all sorts of things. You're welcome to come and join me whenever you would like. All right, goodbye. I hope you have a fantastic day. Peace.